The Serbian Alexander Zikic is the new coach of Olympia Ljubljana. The announcement was made yesterday by the Slovenian powerhouse after the resignation of Memi Bacirovic due to differences over trades with sports director Janic Regeli. Zikic was the assistant at the Minnesota Timberwolves in the last two seasons. He was the first European coach with no prior experience in America to be hired by an NBA team. He started out as coach of Partizan Belgrade youth teams before coming head coach of Beavuk Belgrade between 1997 and 1999. He then went back to Partizan as assistant coach to Dusko Vosevic until 2005. His contract with Olympia runs until the end of the season and he will make his first appearance on the Slovenian bench on Thursday for the home Euroleague game against Zalgiris Kaunas. <laughs> Maccabi elite Tel Aviv guard Will Bynum was arrested on Saturday and remained in an Israeli jail throughout the weekend on suspicion of running over a person with his car and fleeing the scene. The incident in question took place outside a Tel Aviv nightclub early Saturday morning. One man was hospitalised in a serious but stable condition. However, Bynum was reported to have told police that he was not aware of having hit anyone with his car. Bynum had turned 25 on Friday and was celebrating his birthday with friends. A judge on Sunday night ordered the player remain in jail until another hearing on Tuesday. Two more blows for Olympiakos, already decimated due to the absences of Zebutis, Vasilopoulos and Pentitis. Another star, Arvidas Machauskas, suffered a leg injury during the Greek league game against AEL and he'll probably miss the next Euroleague game at home to Siska Moscow on Thursday. Akova Sakhalidis also picked up an injury in the game, leaving coach Pini Gerson with something of a selection headache. Real Madrid remained the exclusive leader of the ACB after the 16th round. The Balancas conquered Seville by Ejen Calasol, 77-74, thanks to a super performance by their captain, Philippe Reyes, who scored 23 points, including the deciding baskets. Meanwhile, at the Palu Balu Grana, the former leader Bilbao were defeated 77-66 and were joined in the standings by AXA FC Barcelona, whose chief goal scorers were Ramao with 14 points and the Italian pair Marco Nato and Basili with 12 points each. Tau obtained an easy victory, 90-80 in front of their supporters against Granada. Rakocevic with 20 points and Splitter with 16 were the driving forces of the team, while Yulika, despite the 22 points by Cabezas, surrendered 89-81 in the final minutes in Manresa. In the 11th round of the Greek League, Olympiakos, with a sensational 26-0 start, were chasing for long periods and finally won 96-69 in Laresa against AEL. Mark Jackson picked up 16 points. There was also a comeback success obtained by Aris, 72-55 at home against Almeco. Once again, the performance of Massey was exceptional. 21 points, 15 rebounds, 7 steals, 2 assists and no turnovers. Olympiakos and Aris remain second and third respectively behind the leader Parthenenkos. Now a look at the Italian Serie A after the 18th round. There were no surprises from the Pala Mensana, where Montepaschi swept away 82-58 Snydero Udine, conquering the 18th victory in 18 games. This was even with coach Piani Gianni having to do without players like Lavrinovic, Kalkenis and the new arrival McLeod, but the substance never changes. Behind them, Lottomatica Roma dominated in Varese, beating the bottom of the table side 92-74 with an uncontrollable Alan Ray, 29 points with 7 from 13 on the 3 pointers. Another disappointment on the contrary arrived for Armani Jeans, defeated in the final seconds in Naples 74-73 despite a good performance by Vukovic, author of 16 points and for Virtus Bologna at home, forced to surrender to the heavy absences of Anderson, Giovannoni and Michelore, and to the quality of Capo di Orlando, which triumphed 1987. Turning to the Turkish league, which was in the 15th round, well, Fenerbahce conquered an important road win at Mutlu Aku to remain in the wake of the two leaders, Galatasaray and Bejiktas. The final result was 76-69, under the lights, the double-double by White, 16 points and 11 rebounds, and 15 points by Khan. 